I just wanted to show real briefly what I'm going to be using to create the rotating magnetic field motor. Here is a ring. Uh, it's got a bunch of metal sheets that are stacked together that create a thin ring. This one came out of a ceiling fan. As you can see, this is what the inside of a ceiling fan looks like. It usually hangs on your ceiling like this. Okay, and this is the ring that is surrounding the copper in that configuration that you just saw. This is a DC motor. It's got a ring magnet on the inside. And you can see it's got three coils. These three coils are wound into these stacked sheets of metal. See the lines there? These are stacked pieces of metal with coils wrapped around them. So when this metal spins with the copper within the magnetic field of this ring that's pressed to the walls, it induces a current. It has the uh, effect of a rotating magnetic field in the copper and you can then send the two ends of these of each coil to another location for a direct current now the way I'm going to create the rotating magnetic field motor is instead of having three coils you have two coils and you have one coil that's wound into a configuration that is about the diameter of this ring and then you have another one that comes like this that comes intersects at 90 degrees. So the way this works now is that you have those two coils that are in the rotating magnetic field motor. You have a magnet that's on one side, that's a north, and you have another magnet that's on the other side, that's a south. And you have these two coils that are in that X for or um, cross formation, the 90 degrees formation. And then the way it works is you have an external circuit that comes out in four rings and it's each and each two the two rings are one phase current and another two rings are another phase current so you have one wire that comes out of one and it comes out and it winds into one coil and then you take the end and you come and wind it into another coil and then you take the end of that wire and you run it back into the other circuit so you have one circuit able to go here and here and then back into the motor okay and then in the other circuit you do the same thing you come and you wind one coil here and then you come and wind another coil here so you have two coils in this 90 degree cross or X formation that have a north and south stationary magnet and you have four external circuits that are two wires that make up four coils and what you do then is you have a magnet here nor a really strong north strong south it's it's a it's it would be a square bar magnet where you have the north and the south and the bottom but you would curve the edges so you have this bar magnet like this you can see this and you can see the shape that I'm talking about in Tesla's rotating magnetic field design for this but that north and south magnet would then turn along with the rotation of the four coils in around the stationary magnets so what you're doing is you're creating the rotating magnetic field from almost like a DC motor setup and you're moving this magnet in response and the coils that are here when when the rotating magnetic field is initiated you get two coils that are making north and south rotate but in the other coils the magnet is inducing an alternating current back into the DC motor so you get this loop of alternating current where this spinning magnet is causing these coils to move and these coils moving is getting a push and pulling effect from the two stationary magnets that make this magnet move so if you can picture this in your head if you start to spin this it'll keep spinning it'll be like a gyroscope that never stops you just kinda get the two magnets with the two coils 
in that X or cross formation, you start to spin it and the four external circuits make the magnet here send current back into this and then allows this to send current to keep, you know, it's, it's almost like these three magnets are acting in a way that push and pull one another and it, it would almost spin like there would be no friction. So I just wanted to show that this is what I'm going to use to make the rotating magnetic field motor. That's going to try, I'm going to try to get a bar magnet to put in there. And I'm going to try and get a nice big DC motor that has two stationary magnets. And I'm going to get four external circuits that I can make four coils from two wires in that kind of configuration. And then see what happens. So that is my idea for creating the generator for the rotating magnetic field motor effect.